Yeah, okay, ladies, right now, I want to know, um, you've been with your man for uh, an extended period of time, let's say a year or two. Everything is right. He. Okay, let's say two years. Two, you've been with him two years. Yeah. Sheesh, god damn. You've been with him two years, everything is right, everything is perfect. He comes to you and he's honest and saying that he wants to have a threesome. He doesn't want to go behind your back and cheat with uh, on anybody. He didn't go do anything outside of the relationship. He's coming and being honest to you and saying, listen, I really want to, this is something I want to do. I know that we have a relationship. Can, can we do this? Ladies, are you allowing it or are you breaking it off. He's a great, he's a perfect guy. Keep in mind, he's paying bills, protecting, providing, doing everything he's supposed to do as a man. We'll start with you, Shorty. I say let's do it, and I'm letting him pick. Drop a bomb for a let's do it. Uh, I, that threw me off. I didn't know that was going to be the first answer, but elaborate on your answer. Um, I feel like somebody, I, I have a different ideology around monogamy okay. and like cheating and men having sex with additional women. Um, I don't personally feel like men are set up that way, but that's just my opinion. And I'm older, and I've been cheated on enough. God bless know. you, ma'am. God bless you. I've been, I've been, you need I've, to get your taxes back first. I hope you wait till April. You get your shit tomorrow. Um, and you find three dependents on that ball. Super speaking on the I've been cheated on enough, like I, I decided to stop looking at it so personally and being like, what is it about me? Cause I'm like that, the fuck? And I know that and my mental is like that and I'm physically like that. So if I'm doing all of these things and producing in the home and doing all of this and a man still is seeking elsewhere, that ain't me, that's him. So if, if I love him, if he's a provider, if he's present, if he's doing the things that he needs to do, and this is what he's honestly communicating that he needs, fuck it, we lit. And I like bitches too, though, so it's all right. Drop a bomb. That's all I'm saying. Fuck me up. I pray your bills you get paid for, for life. Else, blow a bigger bomb for that. That's <laughs> I pray your bills get paid for the rest of your life. Hey, I pray you never lose your edge. You get your taxes back early. They lower the interest rate on your house. Hope they raise your credit score 30 points after this episode. You, I speak all that over your life. Hey. She figured something out. Yeah. Yana. Little cheat code. Wait, now nah, hold on. Let's go to her face is giving. Turn up right now. Okay, so listen. Mm -hmm. He's protecting, providing, mm -hmm. doing everything mm -hmm. he's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. But he's being straight front, uh, straight up front and honest, saying, hey, I want to do a threesome with me, you, and Livy. We're trying to work it out. So would you say yes, or would you throw away a great relationship for this right now? No. No, you would No. No? I'm not doing it. No? Girl, I don't like girls. Uh, oh, she says not with me. Drop a bomb for Livy <laughs> saying you wouldn't do it at least with me. I mean, what are we talking about right now? Okay, go ahead. Elaborate on why. Because at this point, you're trying to venture out. Yes, I understand men, they have these cravings. But if you don't love me enough to just want to be with me for the rest of my life at the same time and have, I was raised on having. You're delusional. <laughs> Goddamn fairy tale you came from. You're not Cinderella and I'm not Prince Charming, okay? You're Yana and I'm Nietzsche. And life don't fucking work out like that, okay? I don't know where you bumped your head. And your fairy godmother and the tooth fairy and Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny and all that shit. But those aren't real. Can we talk realistic, okay? You've never seen an example of the man that you're speaking about that loves you with all his heart forever and ever and ever. And your daddy didn't do it. And your granddaddy didn't do it. And your drunk uncle didn't do it. And what the fuck make you make my expectations so goddamn high? You could carry your head back to the apartment with that delusional bull. My grandparents did do it. Your granddaddy cheated. Your daddy cheated too. That's why your hair good. Your mama might not be your mama. I gotta think it like a motherfucker. Right now. Good, though. You gotta I don't even remember the question. I just heard some delusional bullshit in chapter. 
Okay. Stuff. But look, I'm just saying, okay, when it comes to relationships, I want something that's long term, no matter what. I'll, I've never thought of doing anything with another woman in my mind. Like, I don't want to do nothing with a woman. Stop thinking small. Think ah, big, bitch. bitch. You gotta big. think big, bitch. Stop thinking small. Think big, bitch. <laughs> Hold on, she said, do I want to ask you something? Go ahead, do I. So if if you went to your man, right, and you were like, hey, I want to stop working, um, I have goals and aspirations, and do you see it fit for you to make a little more money so I can do what I'm doing, would you expect him to do that? Well, I would hope he would support me on that, but that doesn't mean it's adding another relationship into this equation. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. I'm saying would you expect him to meet your needs if you asked for an increase in your needs? I would hope he could support me on that. He would hope that you could support him on that. <laughs> drop, drop him. I hope that you support me on bringing Bella home. Y'all already work so good together. You might as well. Bring pretty lady action too. Well, her sick ass. Okay, let's just have a whole soiree. It's a networking event. Around my penis. How about that? Whole team. No, no, just select a few. It's not for everybody. You funny. It's the honesty is what we're saying. That okay, Bella, let's switch it to her. We have two ladies that answer. Here it is right now, Bella. If he's a perfect man that is providing, protecting, and and and. Right. <laughs> no, no, don't answer it for her, cause now you're helping her. Wait a minute, just chill. She, if he's providing, protecting, doing everything he needs to do, and he comes to you and say, "Hey, I really want to bring Shorty to the crib, and I want us to all hang out." How would you feel about that? You saying hang out like hanging out is just hanging out? No, fucking out. threesome. It's a threesome. We all get naked, and it's, no. it's happening. Me, Shorty, and I you. I love you, but no, I'm not doing that. Why not? Number one. You want to get cheated on. That's what the fuck you want to do. You want to get cheated on. You want me to lie to you and tell you that I'm going to go to the bar with Ben so I can go fuck you out on my own. She's going to bring Shawty doo And I'm going to put something on both of their light bills that I was going to spend on your nails. And we're going to have a great fucking night. Y'all motherfuckers delusional think niggas ain't gonna throw no dick. That's what we were here designed to do. Have you ever met this rich monogamous man? Don't go motherfucking pay your bills and not throw no dick at another bitch. You know one example of him? Have you ever met the nigga? Have you seen one? What's his name? I'm, I'm not about to put my business out there like Exactly. <laughs> that nigga count. No, I believe. I, no, I ain't gonna put my business not lit like that. I, I honestly believe like spirits transfer. That nigga ain't rich. I'm not, I, I don't even know, know who you're talking about. He ain't rich. <laughs> more bills a man pay, the more hard his dick get. More money, my goddamn ass spin. The more ass my dick go on. You look expensive, little mama. So your ass don't wanna go to Captain D's. You wanna go to Juicy Crab? Something gonna have to shake. Well, the difference between me and a lot of females you interact with, I got it on my own too, so I don't need no man to provide for me. I mean, hey, I don't, I would rather. You don't need a on man? Hold on, you don't need a man? I, I don't. I do. That's 613 in your head right now. You know who invented it? A man. That nice little lip gloss you got on your lips right now, you know who invented it? A fucking man. Oh, that car that you got here on? You know who invented it? A oh, fucking man. And when it break down, you know who gonna fix it? A oh, man. That house you live in, you know who built it? A oh, man. Anything else? So basically, you would be bald head with your goddamn uh, 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 hammer time in your feet without a man. You talking about over here, you don't need no man. You need a man more than anybody else on this damn panel, look, girl. Give me that I don't need a man shit be over this motherfucking stage with them meek meal brains without a man. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. minute. Y'all thought I was finished? Get out of me. Hell no, I got hair under this wig, though, for real. Yeah, respectfully. <laughs> respectfully. <laughs> respectfully. <laughs> respectfully. <laughs> <laughs> but on some real 
bullshit. Like, no, it's not that I don't need a man. Yes, I do need a man. I understand that there are gender roles. There's things that I can't do as a woman, and there's things that you can't do as a man. I understand that, but at the same time, I don't need no man dropping no bag on me because I can do it on my own. That's what I'm trying to say. But back to the original question, no, I'm not doing no threesome because, number one, I don't roll that way. You feel me? I like baseball bats. I don't like mitts. You feel me? Hey. Then, number two, I believe that um, even though you are wearing a condom, diseases do spread around. Stay wrapped up. Um, yeah, do that. Um, and then <laughs> sexual and spiritual diseases transfer. So the more bitches you fuck, the more spirits that's going to come and fuck up your life. So keep fucking too many bitches and you're going to have too many problems. And spirits right. were a problem when you was on your hot girl summer. <laughs> Women always got a problem with it. It's always spiritual and moral. And all this shit is wrong when a nigga fucking a bitch. When she don't want you to fuck that hoe. But nah, when she had her pussy out goddamn last summer, popping ass, damn at the beach. Oh, it wasn't a problem then. Oh, so you can fuck a nigga on the first night, but I can't fuck off. See, women only care about morals when it's a nigga fucking a bitch that they don't want him to fuck. But when they do it, it's cool. So you mean to tell me you ain't got no raw dick before in your, ever in your life? Exactly. Spiritual disease is there too, but you went and got it. I don't want to hear this shit. It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Fuck them. You only worried about the spirits with me. What about them goddamn uh, 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 dead bodies you got up under your motherfucking bed? You talking about I'm dating him and him and him and him? One of them dicks slipped through. They had spiritual disease. Spiritual syphilis. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Trigger Alert. Get them likes right. Get them likes right. We having a vibe. Salute to all we my got triggers super right there. Salute to all of my triggers. I have a I have a uh, super chat right now. Let's do a super chat right now. Patrick Rice, I see you. Um, since she don't need a man to go to the pound, get Cujo and head back to the apartment. <laughs> They send them back to the apartments. We got another one. Uh, James Hunt, he said, the lady to biz, immediate right. I like how she's thinking. Wow. They love you in the, in the comments. Okay, what else we got? I think that was, a, was that the last one? That was the last one. Yeah, we got to get to the next topic. Give us the next one. Uh, let's let Pimp wrap that last one up. Talk to him, Pimp. What we talking about? <laughs> I don't know either. I just got there. Was going off the hill. What was your question we initially, Biz? About it was about a threesome. The question was if um, she's with a man that she's locked in with. They've been together a couple years. He's being honest and saying, I don't want to cheat. I want to have a threesome with you. How would you feel about that? Well, I feel the same way you feel. You know, if, if uh, the guy's already had that mentality, he thinking about cheating, then... Uh, if you feel that you want to be with this guy, either you're going to let him go out and get some outside pussy, or you're going to go ahead and uh, participate in the threesome. Now, I know a lot of women can't do that because a lot of women are territorial, and they look at it like, this is my man, and, you know, I'm fucking this nigga. And they like to be delusional and think ain't nobody else fucking them, but like Ugly Money always say, everybody cheat. 90% of the niggas cheat, the other 10% lying. And, uh, I'm to that lady. I like her answer, man. She said, if a nigga gonna cheat, uh, she gonna cheat back. I'm gonna tell you why I like that. Okay, I'm gonna tell you oh, why. Right. Talk to me. Because I always say that nobody keep it 100. They might keep it 75, they might keep it 65, but on that one, she kept it 100. You understand what I'm saying? So I got, I give you respect for that, because you know, that's the type, I ain't gonna call you no bitch, but that's the type of lady I'll fuck with. I'll fuck with somebody that keep it 100. You know what I'm saying? She ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you, brother. What I gotta lie for? And I like this shit. I respect I mean, it. I, that's the first time I heard this shit since I've been here. Everybody else be putting on these little things. You, you, know, you know all these bitches got wiener hookups, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Women cheat more than niggas. Hey, y'all better at it and y'all don't get caught. Y'all, you be the main one cheating over there trying to look innocent. Look, zoom in on her face. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom in. I gotta look at it. I got five guys this week I have appointments with. 